Hey, Joe at Red's Fly Shop here. Been getting a lot of questions about this lanyard uh, that I wear. Uh, I started wearing the orange about a year ago, and I think that's kind of brought more attention to it. So efficiency is key in fishing and especially in guiding, being able to make quick fly changes, tackle adjustments, tip adjustments, etc. So the way I set mine up is I don't use a traditional set of nippers. Uh, they work great for some people, but they go dull on me. I'd have to go through several sets a year. Uh, I exclusively use for cutting my line uh, these uh, prism clamps and there's a set of serrated scissors there once you get handy with them snipping tip it off etc is really handy that's my primary tool so i'm going to use that for a variety of different um, knot tying applications there's a little spike right there that i can uh, push cement out of the eye of a hook serrated scissors can cut anything from a hundred pound test or even a uh, light wire tippet uh, down to my 6x tippet and then uh, for smashing barbs releasing fish Dr. Slick seems to be kind of the, the hallmark of quality forceps at this price point. So I'll put a link in the video description to those. They make them in different colors. Uh, I like the tie-dyed version myself. Uh, the other tool on here, I don't use this one very often, but it's really nice to have. And this is a Walton's thumb. Uh, in the event I do need a nipper for something, I've got one right there. I've got tweezers right there, which are really handy. There's another video I did of a Walton's thumb uh, that I get all the tools out and show you what it is. But there's a little knife blade if I need to do something. It doesn't really get in the way. My line doesn't tangle around it while I'm fishing. And I don't use the Walton's thumb often, but I like to have it there. Now, the tippet's really important. You want to keep tippet really close at hand. And depending on what I'm doing earlier today, I was Euro nymph fishing uh, all morning. And I wanted my 4X, my 5X, and this ridiculous thing called 5 0.5x tippet right there or 6x tippet uh, as most people call it but whatever my tippet is if I'm dry fly fishing uh, I'll put just mono on there maybe just one spool if I'm doing a hopper dropper I might put 4x mono and a 5x fluorocarbon on there and that's what I'm going to be using so this is a parachute cord uh, I've burnt the ends you can measure it to make sure it's the right length when it comes to taking that tippet off of there um, a couple of tips I'll give you is put the uh, label for the top tippet up and then I put mine in order. So strong, medium, light, just like that right there. Uh, it's easy to put different sizes of tippet on there. I just do this little loop-to-loop -loop connection uh, to my uh, forcep tool there. Just being careful because those are about to fall off. Um, and then I could put the other tippet on by just threading it on to uh, my paracord. So if I was going to switch up and I was steelheading for instance, I might want some 12 or 20 pound maxima on there uh, or streamer fishing I might want heavier line but uh, I'll just thread that back on there and like if they don't get stuck in my pocket it's raw video here okay so I just use those to pull it through that's kind of a helpful tip and uh, thread this last piece of lighter tippet on there that goes down to the knot and then same thing I take that and put these on here I don't like to keep floating um, right out uh, on my lanyard, even though I use floating quite a bit. I won't use that on there um, because it'll end up with a lot of grease stains on your shirt. One thing I will do when I'm Euro nymphing and altering my setup a lot is I will put um, some indica, some cider material on there. Um, having some really light 4X or 5X cider material on with your regular tippet is really handy uh, when you're altering your setup, especially in kind of some technical nymphing situation. So anyway, that's what I keep here. Uh, makes for really uh, nice efficiency and uh, keeps your tools that are most important right at hand.